Hello guys. <laughs> Sorry, having some troubles here with the keyboard. How are you? Hope you guys are doing all right. This is Kuya Game and I'm glad to welcome you to this streaming. And as you can see on my back and on top of me and at my side something is going on with my vending machine so this is what we're going to discuss today you think I'm in a good shape what do you think well I think I do even though I have to say I'm very excited to do this streaming but I have been eating a lot so hopefully I will not get confused doing our nice vending machine as you can see this is the main billboard we can call it and let me show you what's going on here this is the main control board and this is what uh, you use you know if you use if you watched my video on the vending machine this is basically the same billboard and here the resources that I requested the machine to give me so maybe let's clean up a little bit oh look at that okay sorry sorry for that uh, so do you guys want to see a quick demonstration so this is how it works basically let me select uh, the item I want to receive here I only have raw items so I don't have refined items um, so let's start with the organic so this slide is telling me that I have selected the organic and let's say let's just grab two okay so this is one two three four five six up to ten so we selected two organics so if I did everything in the right way we should get two pieces of organic soon one okay one has been delivered to us and the second one is there the light got turned off a little bit ahead of time but this is just uh, to let us know what we selected in case we have any doubts and look at my head it's spinning it's spinning around I'm gonna have a head cake <laughs> it's spinning around like a kebab if you know what I mean so this is our project for today but a lot has changed uh, in the background in the backstage so first of all I have tried to make some true flat of course there's much work to do here um, you know as you guys know I'm not very good with true flat but I've tried at least to cover up the giant mess that is at the back but first of all I would like to show you oh I can fly I would like to show you oops how it used to be and what has changed so we're going to go to my former base and now you can just have a glimpse from far of the new project but I want to take you first to the old project it won't take long, take long and let's see what has changed so I think I'm flying pretty fast here so maybe we're gonna have some problem with the stream but let's try so let me travel back oops there's a huge mountain what if we go through here can we go through it Ooh, oh yeah we can <laughs> that was cool oh yeah yes we can of course we can welcome to all of you guys it's nice to see you here so as i'll be doing some technical stuff maybe i will have some trouble reading or keeping up with your comments but i'll do my best and if you want to use the super chat or super stickers to make sure I can actually see you, you're welcome. And here we are. So this is my old vending machine. Well, this is just random stuff I was trying um, 
when I was doing my new one. So you see the blank, this blank space here. There used to be a giant binary counter like this. So all of the stuff that you can see here, this is my watch, my 12 hours uh, clock. Uh, all that you see here, all of these power switches and connectors and lines was here. And then one day I woke up and I said, maybe I can do this without that giant mess. <laughs> so can you imagine all of this, this enormous binary counter was useless. Oh man, <laughs> I feel so ashamed. Yeah, there was no reason to make the giant binary counter, but everything else almost everything else remains this part remains it's been simplified as well and of course this central part hasn't sh well actually all of these uh, button repeaters are gone in the new design so we have less cables going around and this was simplified as well so a lot has been going on here and so this is how it used to look like and also here there was something like that the huge binary counter let me show you how it is today so let's go back to our to my let's say my new base and let's see oops where is it oh, over here i don't know why i'm always going the wrong way with the viewer stream oh, oh let's see what's going on here i like to fly like this can we go any faster oh yes we can oops not that this yes we can go much faster so i can show you the new project i have tried to build some walls around it just to hide the huge machinery <laughs> <laughs> the huge contraption at the back so but besides that there's a lot going on so all of this don't mind it because this is trash I was trying to do something here whoops <laughs> more trash but yeah this doesn't count oops doesn't count at all what counts is this so this is the new vending machine okay so as you can see here basically we have a copy of the fretboard that we had here so probably not necessary uh, but it helped me to do the wiring through the wall because otherwise it would be hard to tell which button repeater at the other side is malachite and so on so uh, I'm doing that and still there is something I haven't completed yet, something I'm working on. Um, so that's it. So let me explain you how it works. So of course here we're gonna storage our items. So I have a canister for any items I want to store. So this would be organic, uh, compound, resin, clay and so on. And because we are in creative mode and I'm lazy I just put this ingredient plinth one for each other arm <laughs> so I didn't have to manually fill up each canister so these canisters are empty but they're just for you to see how the project would be in real life and these ingredient plinth are gonna provide us the items also this way we're making sure we're not running out of items so then the fretboard, of course, we select the item that we want to receive and we select how many we want from one to 10, right? Okay, and this is the circuit that does the counting. So basically we have two sets of uh, end gates. So we have end gates here to do the counting 
and we have end gates here. As you can see, there is one seri code for each resource. So this is organic, uh, compound, resin, clay, and so on. All 15 of these basics resources are here. And each line is very simple to replicate. So the end gate, so a couple of power switches, then we have this platform. I put the resource just to help us see. And there is also a work light. So when we select the billboard organic, this light is gonna turn on. And we have a couple of power sensors for each. So as you can see from this platform, we have a power sensor in gain power mode and a power sensor in lost, power lost. What does that mean? So basically when we select a resource, for example, organic, we are opening this gate. So as you can see organic here, can you see this white line blinking is connected to this power switch here. So when we select organic, only this first line is selected. So we know we're dealing with organic. Then when we select how many we want, for example, two, we're gonna open up the gate of only number two. So this counts one, two, three, four, five, up to 10. So we're gonna open only the two counter. How do we count them? You see, we have a count repeater set to two. The next line has a count repeater set to three. Here we have eight and to make it nine, we have one set to three multiplied by three gives us nine and for ten we have two multiplied five times we get ten right so each one of these line takes care of how many items we want if we select five from here then we open one of the gates of the fifth counter repeater the one that counts five okay then another thing that happens when we select the number of items we want, we're gonna open the second gate. All of these are gonna be open at the same time, but power will not go through because these second gates are closed. Only organic will pass through because we selected organic. So only organic will actually pass through both power switches and power up this power gain sensor, right? I hope you guys can follow me, then we're gonna do some demonstration. So this power sensor is gonna activate this button just for, because it's nice to have one button going, which as you can see, this button goes to which auto arm? To the organic auto arm. So basically when we select organic, we only want the auto arm for organic to be turned on. And so, when the second gate is open, the auto arm starts to grab uh, organic and puts it on this platform. As you can see uh, on this platform, I have these three small horns to make sure any item will be deposited on this very slot, specifically on this slot. And in this way, the auto arm can grab it. You see the auto arm? The green area only reaches to that very slot so this auto arm is not gonna pick up the small trumpet only the resource that will 100% of the time will deposit it there and then this line of auto arm will take it here to our tray oh, whoops okay let me slow down a little bit okay okay that's better now how do we count how many items we receive. As you can see here, there is a storage sensor set to full, not full. So now it's not full. When one item is dropped here, then it will get full because all of the four slots will be full. What does that mean? This will trigger, as you can see, we follow the line, will trigger this button repeater that is going to open all of these gates. You see the gates, the power switch is highlighted. So all of this will be on, but because we selected that we want five, only 
here it will go through because we selected we want five and so power will go through only here so one item is deposited there we get a signal and the count repeater will count one of five then this item is picked up that another one is deposited and deposited and the count repeater will count two another one will be picked up another one will be deposited the count repeater will count three when you get to five what is going to happen we're going to trigger this platform let's say i have used a platform because i have many pins so it was easier to use a platform but basically we're activating this button repeater that switches off everything basically so all these first line first gates are going to be switched back off and when that happens even the organic will be switched off and we here we have the power sensor set to lost so when it will learn that there is no more power coming through it will one stop the organic gate so you see that it will close this power switch to reset it and also it's going up there to reset the light that is at the other side so basically it's gonna switch off this light I haven't completed all the projects so as you can see I have something going on here it was easier to use button repeater than the work light directly into the platform because it's kind of hard to do the connections down there and I have found out that if you activate the large active storage you may lose some of the connection so <laughs> that was not something I wanted to happen so this is why we are here today so let's have a demonstration from uh, the backstage so for example let's let's stick to organic okay so I'm gonna select organic nothing yet is happening but I have turned this on so only this gate is on so if any power goes through here only organic will go through then let me select let's say 10 items so we have time to discuss let's select 10 okay so now because we have acti activated the second gate we have activated the auto arm for organic you see only organic is going through because we only activated organic any other gate is closed so we have power going through only organic this power sensor understood that we received power so it switched on this auto arm okay one item goes every time it goes we're counting so you see here every time an item is deposited there a resource this gate is counting as you can see this is the only gate where we have power okay so we got we reached 10 so now everything is reset right so when we reach 10 we close all of these uh, power switches and this is going this power sensor is going to lose power so it's gonna also switch off the organic gate power switch i hope that makes sense <laughs> You know, I'm not smart, honestly, so if I figured out this, it shouldn't be overly complicated. So these are the connections, of course. Uh, so organic switches on the um, auto arm for organic. And here at the last, we have astronium. So this is switching on the auto arm for astronium because all the way around, I have found out that sometimes it gets buggy when you prolong these pins too much so I've just used this button repeater to extend the signal <laughs> are you guys still there <laughs> and it may sound a bit complicated but it shouldn't be uh, as you can see everything is modular so we have these small batteries i have charged them with rtgs and then i detach them so because rtgs make noise you know but small batteries don't and they will never run out of power because nothing here is really consuming power they're just using it 
uh, but they're not consuming it so we'll be fine so small batteries are silent are quiet so this is the module for the counting area so we have some power because we need to detect when power goes on we have a power switch and we have another power switch so this power switch is the one that counts the items that we want if we select one we're going to open this power switch if we want two we're going to open this power switch if we want try three we're good that and this second line of power switches will be activated by this guy uh, so basically when the number of items is reached for example we reach five items we need to switch this off and it will also switch these guys off okay and at the end we have so actually we have a couple of things here I don't know if you notice it we have a power sensor at the bottom so basically it's gonna tell if it's receiving power or not and on top of it we have a button repeater so uh, in case any of you guys doesn't know there is a cool thing you can do so let's say we have a power sensor right and we have let's say a count repeater there we go so there are two ways to connect the power sensor to the count repeater you can just get this pin and attach it or whoops or just put it on top <laughs> because the pin is there so if you put it on top of it it's still gonna work and then you do whatever you want with this okay so i did that just to make it a little bit more compact so this is the new design of my vending machine what do you guys think about it all the lines that you see <laughs> i know it's a mess but it's not really complicated i had tried to go with two layers like i have a layer here at the bottom Ola, there is an underground layer uh, so I was trying to hide cables in here and then come back up but to be honest it just complicated things and I have just tried to put the cables you know with a sense so it doesn't look too bad hopefully <laughs> but what do you guys think about it and this is the this is how it works do you guys have any questions um, so here I have copied the numbers so one two three four five six like a calculator I have repeated and put the resources here um, just for me it's easier to tell that this button repeater stands for compound because we have compound next to it and this button repeater is just to activate the light that is at the back so when we switch on everything we select the number we are also uh, sele uh, switching on the light and these guys when we get power lost you see this cable goes all the way up and switches off the um, light the work light okay Mohamed it's cool and it really look and it really look really complicated with all the cables okay I hope it's not too complicated question roll up Xbox. do you have a twitch I do uh, I have not been streaming on twitch because I was how can I look at you guys like this <laughs> I have been trying to stream at the same time on YouTube and Twitch but I didn't work that out yet so for now I'm not really streaming on Twitch but you can find me there at Kuya Game and maybe soon I will be able to stream something there and then I had I have more work to do here with the flattening 
and there's so much to do actually I had a plan for this area here uh, this side so I need of course to close that up actually let's do something like this okay not the size and yeah, more hardness let's try that so my idea for this area was quite simple actually uh, to make some columns I think it would look oh come on I think it would look cool uh, like let me see is this the right place nope got it wrong right away let's try again okay there we go so i think it gets weird here because the terrain is a bit less all right so i was planning to have some columns here like oops like so and then of course i will have to paint them the color i want them i have used some purple because i'm kuya game and my suit is purple and this is the idea to get some columns we need to get up to the ceiling all the way up here right something like that and then I need to count to one, which hopefully I'm doing right. And we put okay one next to it, and there we go. And up we go with these columns. What do you guys think about this? So let's try to make a couple of these. And see how it turns out iron prime says it's cool thank you i'm glad you liked it you should do a play with the viewers stream what do you mean arsalan adventure time i should do a play with the viewers i'm not sure about what you mean can you please help me understand let's see oh i knew i was doing that wrong here can we fix it no it's better that we just start from the scratch oh yeah okay so we have quite some work to do here at this place as you can tell so this should be one voxel right so hopefully this should be the next one and okay i'll try to fix that later let's see if we can keep on oh no i did too wrong the wrong way all right is that correct i think so i think so okay we can fix those later so let's see how it turns on is there multiplayer creative uh, i think so not sure but i think you can do that oh no this is the wrong distance oh man <laughs> ay, ay, ay. but anyway let's try to just finish up this and see how it looks like so i didn't get the super state but actually i like this I like this inclination it seems like it's different and it looks like you know a shark I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> but I think I kind of like it so this could be a working design for this place what do you guys think it's gonna let some light in so Arsenal and Adventure Time says like you set up a server or something and join you and play oh that would be cool i'm never trying to play on a server so that's something i'm definitely uh, trying to do soon 
that's how you made your cool base with this thing that you have hundreds of because of misclicking yep you are correct <laughs> really working with soil is not my cup of tea <laughs> i'm not good at that but shall we try this thing one more uh, we should you know i'm missing some connection like i need to add this this is a nice trick when you need tons of the same item we have this uh, printer plinth so for example I'm gonna need quite a few button repeaters so you just open your backpack or just lay it on the ground but I'm flying so it's easier from my backpack and there we go you can just copy as many as you want or you oops you just press enter and that's cool just see mirror the imperfections make it better yeah that's true it's more real isn't it it's real rare real rare <laughs> or something like that oh i like that we can just swap the light and then place it on top so it's gonna be easier than removing it okay we have the last five to do here okay whoops no I need the whole thing, not just the pin. Thank you very much. Okay. And, oh, this is the last one because I had already connected Astronium for some reason. Okay. How do you get that? Because we are in creative mode. So if you go at your, uh, how is this called? Menu? I don't know. Oh, maybe there's a name here. No. anyway you open this <laughs> and then the very first row you just go to the right and you have the backpack printer plinth so anything that you get oh sorry here from your backpack you can print it or small printer plinth medium printer plinth so all the items that you print with the medium printer the large printer plinth ingredient plinth where you can get the resources basically hello roll of eggs hello i hope you can sleep well okay and thanks for tuning in so we did some of the connections so let's connect compound okay so let's go to the back here we are and this is compound so you see uh, this line needs to go to the wall then turn on the line and then go and switch on the power switch for a compound so let me see we haven't connected yet did we oh I'll get away I can see okay oh we did okay so it's connected there uh, okay so we didn't connect clay so let's do clay so basically we need to draw the pin attach it somewhere then one goes to the light so when we select clay we're gonna turn on its light and then we need to branch it out until let's try it like this uh, we need to branch it out to this power switch that is gonna open the clay switch okay then let's do another one so let's do quartz so I need to get this away because I didn't connect it connect lights so we need to connect the light and then again reconnect it to the quartz uh switch there we go this is connected and then let's do the next one uh, where are we okay we got graphite so graphite goes all the way down there okay so we need to detach it pin it here one goes to the light and the other one 
needs to come down here and connect to the graphite branch so i hope this makes sense it's not too easy and then we're gonna need to attach this on the front of the billboard then we need to do ammonium we need to branch out back to its light and then again to its gate which is on oh, here okay perfect you can attach it to the side or on top of it doesn't matter and okay let's do the next one lithium let's spin it somewhere light let's go this way where are you you're over there so there we go okay then we have laterite in light so as you can see it's very repetitive so there are a lot of cables but it shouldn't be too hard because we're just doing the same thing over and over again for our resources iron prime i like your videos thank you very much i appreciate that and we have malachite so let's get this back pin it out pin that it's light and then let's extend it uh -huh. till we get here okay so it's very useful to have these resources to tell me which row is which because it gets hard sometimes i'm sorry i'm in the way when i'm flying but really there's no way to get rid of me okay so here we're missing some of these pattern repeaters so let's place them down whoops two three and four okay oops let's get this back pin pin and then maybe let me collect this okay let's just branch it out till we get here Sphalerite. Did we, did we do Sphalerite? Sphalerite? How do we call it? Sphalerite. Okay, yeah. We are correct. Then, let's do the same thing here. Pin, light, branch it out. And here we are. Okay, we're almost done. We are three to go, right? Yeah. Okay, hematide, one of my favorite. Let's branch that, pin it here, and pin it. Uh, all the way up here. So we really need to do these pins along the way because we could just draw it and attach to it but i have noticed that when you upload your save uh, that will be gone <laughs> and we don't want that so let's do the last one. Oh, actually we did this is connected already okay because i did astronium already okay now we need to connect this button repeater that is for each light we need to connect it to the light itself so this is resin let's grab it go at the other side and connect it to resin <clears throat> so like I said I know we could use these pins at the back Ooh, get out of my way okay there are pins at the back of this platform but it's very hard to attach it down there so i've just decided to put one of button repeater and just attach them directly onto the button repeater okay so it's gonna be easier okay next is clay whoop so we're going all the way around but the cable just goes directly from a to b 
So it goes through the wall to this button. Okay. Next on the list is quartz. And let's go here. At least let's try to put them all with the same inclination so it looks a little bit better from here. Next we have graphite, so let's grab the graphite lights pin and connect it to graphite. So it's pretty easy. And it used to be easier where there was no wall in between ammonia because I could just fly through, but here we need to go all the way around, but it's not a big deal. Ne next we have lithium. All right, there we go. Hello guys, hello everybody. Hope you guys are doing fine. It's nice to have you guys here. Welcome to this stream. Okay, so let's go back to business. Let me see, what do we have here? Uh, okay, laterite. So some people made me realize I have been pronouncing things the wrong way. Like I used to say spherilite, but it's sphalerite. So it's not an R, it's an sphalerite. And also, the purple planet, it's not Versania. There's no R. Can you can you imagine that it's Vasania? So there's no R in Versania because it's not Versania, it's Vasania. I didn't know that. I have always been calling it Versania. And that's embarrassing. I cannot even read anymore. <laughs> okay, I can use the excuse that English is not my <laughs> main language, but it's just because I'm lazy. So this is Spalerite. Let's try to do that right. Spalerite, where are you? You're over here. Oh, okay, so I think the pin is not really reaching out. So in order to avoid bugs, let's just pin it there and then extend it. So it should be more reliable. Uh, then we have Malachite. So same thing probably. Let's pin it there and then reach out here Iron Prime messed up names too okay good to know I'm not the only one then we have hematite hematite goes here oh we need to branch that out to F on a PC oops there we go we have two to go and then we have that. Today I went to do a walk because I'm pretty lazy. So I realized I need to walk, I need to do something. And it was nice. Now the weather is in Italy is cold in the morning, hot at lunchtime and cold in the evening. So it's a little bit a mess. All right, we've done all the connections. Now we're missing the very last connections because this connection that we have been making switches the lights on so when we select an item we switch that light on but now we need to switch them off and this is done by these guys whoops this power lost sensors so this is a power sensor set to power lost as you can see from the arrow at the bottom so anytime we lose power, it goes back there to the same light button to switch it off. So let's see, uh, I think, okay. So compound is connected already. And if you right click on one of the pins, it actually tells you where it's coming from. So you see that pin is highlighted. So it's coming from there and then that pin and eventually this is the source so we know that pin is coming from the button repeater and if you keep your right click pressed you can also go around and it, it will stay highlighted okay so this okay so compound is done we need to connect the resin all right so 
let's go to resin this is the sensor let's whoops sorry let's branch it out again just to make sure we're not losing it along the way and let's connect let's connect it there we go next on the list is clay okay there we go whoop 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 let's connect to clay did you see these guys here this is something i'm working on i want to add something uh, <laughs> so this is what they do <laughs> and let's see if you guys can guess what i'm planning to do with those now we need to do i get lost we need to do a thing yeah we need to do cores yeah because there's no line going up to cores so let's try to connect these and there we go so can you guys imagine what i want to do with these guys if you guessed that right then we have graphite can it reach I'm not sure let me branch one more time there all right next is ammonium so it looks very complicated but there's just a lot of repetitive wiring actually next we have lithium let's go up here okay and let's go on with this guy is it laterite or spherlite i don't know spherlite again <laughs> i don't know Okay, let's connect it. I don't probably make a sound where they are there at the place when they get the resources. Mm -hmm. I think you are all right actually. So basically the idea is when I select a resource or actually the number of resources that I want. No, not there. <laughs> Did how can it connect to my backpack? <laughs> What's going on here? No, not there. It's here. Whoops. I don't know what's going on. I think something went wrong. Where are you? Okay, let's connect it. And where did you end up? Okay, you're there. Okay. Uh, yep. So basically anytime we select how many resources we want, I would like to have a sound, something like, okay, maybe to change a little bit uh, the notes or, and then when uh, I got all the items, something like that, just to tell me you got all your items, go and collect them uh, because Realistically, I will not be standing there waiting for those items. <laughs> I will be doing things. So having a sound to wake me up would be nice. Maybe I should use a giant horn to make sure I can hear it from the distance. But that's another story. Uh, okay, this wearing is done. We have four to go. Malachi. Okay. Let me. Oh, there are so many pins here. Okay, there we go. Then we have hematite. There we go. And I think astronium is already connected. Yep. Cool. So this means we only need to connect this bad guy titanium or titanite oops
and there we go that was a lot of cable management okay it doesn't look super pretty but you know this is it goose gamer au hello welcome hey you <laughs> okay now let's just connect these ones so uh, we need to connect raising to raising so we just use this mirrored interface just for easier connections this is very easy just connect the button for raising to the other button for raising then we have clay let's go all the way around and connect it to clay even here I had tried to connect some of these at the back as you can see here but in the middle I really couldn't reach so I just started to place them directly on the counter okay it doesn't look that pretty but you know we need to be practical sometimes then let's connect graphite to graphite let's connect ammonium to guess what ammonium oh yeah right we have lithium next <laughs> so we're just going back and forth like that okay we have lithium and we'll probably need to branch out in a little i'm not sure if we can reach because we're getting further away and this is interesting the reason why this platform is not here which is exactly at the back of the main platform but it's to the right it's because this guy is very stubborn <laughs> so he was picking up items from the billboard and was also placing resources onto it so i had to move it all the way to the top right so that it didn't interfere because this guy hmm he's a stubborn guy he's a bad guy next one is malachite okay let's go there and connect malachite so let me see i think we can still reach probably for these ones we need to place a pin a lot of wires oh yeah uh, okay, father right. <laughs> Let's try to say it the right way. Okay, I'm gonna branch out for this uh, Like here and then let's connect it. Okay. Because let me just show you so it's clear so let's connect Wolframite You know I could just connect it like this you know the animation stops but if i insist i can actually get it to attach but when i load the game it will go away so i cannot do that or i don't want to do that so let's just take our precautions let's come here let's place a pin and then we can safely attach it there oh so many wires going around here <laughs> crossed they cross each other okay who cares that's why we needed these walls because we don't want to see that mess right then we have hematite okay let's pin it there maybe i can even place a couple of pins so that we have less wirings visible see there we have one or two to go that, that goes there so okay yeah so strontium is attached already we're just missing the last one titanite so let's place one pin there one here and there we go if i'm not wrong this this <laughs> this should officially be completed so let's get rid of this stuff because i was planning to do something but eventually i didn't so this should be it so all the basics 
are here of course you could simplify it even more like if you didn't want to have the lights because you don't really need them uh, you could just avoid all the part concerning the, the lights but I like to be sure what I have selected before I request it so as you can see here we have the items uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 plus 2 because we requested 2 and then 10 so we got 12 of them let's get rid of them okay so we have some visible wirings there but it's alright it doesn't look too bad to me I mean much better than this right <laughs> So there's a lot of wiring here and okay let's try one more so for example let me try a random one let's get lithium right so let's select lithium I want seven lithium seven pieces of lithium let's go here and actually I love to see this thing functioning look at that lithium being delivered right on that spot and let's go to the counter there we go it's counting up to seven we got four already five six and when it hits the last one seven so everything is switched off here and the other arms are just taking care of the last pieces so these other arms are independent so they're going anything that is here they will keep on delivering it and here we have our seven pieces of lithium isn't that crazy i love this can I make the helicopter again and build a shelter in space? Because I made your helicopter also. Hmm, why not? We can do anything here. <laughs> We're free to do it. Let's try now some hematite, mm -hmm. shall we? Oh, and the light switched back off, you see? Let's try hematite. So lights on. Let's try nine. I want nine hematite. Oh, let's go here. What's going on? Okay, so apparently hematite didn't work. So let's try to fix this. Let's see if there's anything. On. Okay, so we got... This is correct. So I guess this pin cannot really reach that far off to hematite actually let's see let's see so if I turn this on manually yeah it's counting nine because this is the ninth row so the problem is that pin so it won't get the signal all the way there so I was noticing that this pin so you see it's highlighted I didn't use these uh, button repeaters right so maybe that could be the problem I might need to use something to boost the signal because sometimes long wires get buggy to be honest so I think we should try that again so it reached 9 so everything has stopped Okay, cool. Let's see if. Well, actually, it was switched off. Yeah. So actually, it worked. When it was time to switch that off, it worked. Oh, maybe it's this pin. Okay, see, this is the problem. <laughs> this guy. What is it doing? Okay, let's place it a little bit more carefully all right so let's try that again so numbers were not a problem so we can just get a few hematite you want to try 
uh, hammer type again and the light switched back off earlier which is cool now it's on let's just get three hammer types and let's go so okay this is the right counter for three i love to see this thing counting <laughs> okay when it gets to three all of those are going off okay so it worked correctly let's see we should have 13 hematites here in total 8 9 10 11 12 oh we only got two sorry so 12 yeah it's correct is it i think so it should be correct okay hello samurai and jj o'neill welcome guys we are doing some testing so let's make some room here all right can you hear the clicking of the cube let's test mm, something that i never tested like graphite or ammonium i don't think i have ever tested ammonium and let's get six please i would like to get six ammonium so six is selected good ammonium is selected cool so we shouldn't have any problem now just want to be here and all the when we reach six all of these are going off you see only ammonium is going through all the way and there we go now they're all off and this guy the power sensor set to power off a uh, power lost switch that one guy off to and we should have gotten our how many were they six yep six pieces of ammonium isn't that cool i mean i love this machine like it's super crazy and so imagine you're here and you're just doing your stuff oh i need to do that and actually we should also try to plan our workspace and since we are in creative we can go big you know <laughs> like this is cheap now because it's for free so i'm just trying uh we're not really doing it let's just try to see how much room everything is gonna take like uh we have the smelter um soil centrifuge we don't really need that to this purpose chemistry lab and atmospheric condenser uh, i think chemistry lab will do for us now i think this would be a standard setup for manual crafting you know because this is what we're doing we're doing it manually uh, let's try to put this couple of these guys okay maybe some small storage I know it's not a lot but I like the way it looks oops uh, F. there we go oops I copied one more. oops sorry. there we go I don't need you <laughs> It fits right. Make another auto farm in here. Yeah, many things fit here. You know what? Actually, my next project, I think this is the fender machine. I think my next project is to merge it with the auto sorter. You know? So I could have an area like, I don't know, maybe here outside. Uh, just come with my rover, park it there, then all the arms collect the items and they drop it, uh, they drop the items at the right place, something like that. I think that would be cool. Um, you know something I didn't check because I used to have only this RTG, but then I noticed that the power sockets turn red, so I said okay, I want them to be fast, so I have added one more RTGs. I never checked if two RTGs are actually 
enough I think they should be okay let's try to get lithium maybe just a few let's say four lithium and okay so it's not going full speed you see there's some red in there so I guess we can add some power so maybe one more RTG should be enough Oops, what a mess. Now let's print one more RTG. She's gonna give four more units of power per second. And let's see if this is going to be enough. Oops, let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is much faster. And it's not all the way up, so I guess we can add a couple of RPGs. Which means we should use this platform here. Let's copy it. One and two. It's still there. Hmm, is it as the fastest that you can get? Let's try just to add randomly an RTG. Oops, we're running out of space. These guys got stuck there. Oh, oh, how many are these? Did we order Titanite earlier? And we get those two. Did it count right? I don't know why there's so much titanite here. Okay, so you know what? Let's just do that again. Oh, and it's still on. So something didn't work with titanite. So let's go and check here. Titanite. This is off, this is off, okay. Oh, that's why it's not off. Again, one of these guys <laughs> was not placed correctly. All right, there we go. That's why that light didn't turn off and that's why we got so many items because we didn't shut everything down. So how many did we order? Uh, let's see if everything here is switched off. Yeah. I think so. Okay. So we should be alright. So let's just see. Whoops. If anything changes. If we add an RTG. Nope. So let's see when they're actually at work. So let me get, let's try, shall we try this titanite again just to make sure it's working now? Uh, let's say five. The hoverboard looks like a penguin, does it? <laughs> I never noticed that. Okay, so something didn't work. So the auto arm is not on. This is working. Let's go and see here. That is extended. Okay. But it did work before. So let's go. Let's try to do it manually. Let's see if it counts the right amount. Okay, it should count five. And let's see if it switches off on its own. Five. Yep, so the other arm goes off. Let's see if the light went off. Mm, nope. Titanite, where are you? Oh, I see only that. But it looks correct. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. 
Oh, I think it was off from before. Let's try to do it again, just to. Oh, it's not turning on. So maybe it's this pin creating problems. Titanite, where are you? You're here. Where is the second pin? There is no second pin. Okay, so it should come from there, right? Yep. So, I think the problem might be that that pin was too long because so let's manually switch it on and let's pretend it worked and see if it switches back off let's just select two titanite one and two okay it goes off and the light goes off great and we get her to tighten it. Let's just see if now the lights turn on. Yep, so let's just get one. And of course to count one, we don't have a counter repeater because counter repeater, oh, they do go at one. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, but I've just placed a button repeater, but apparently you could have a counter repeater for any reason set to one. <laughs> I didn't know they could actually count one. Okay, so let's make some room again. Okay, try placing a button in the room so it that activates the arm without you having to go out and do it. Whoops. Ah, okay, so do you mean when it's not working? So now we're testing things. I'm glad that we're doing this because we're seeing if some pins were not attached correctly. Uh, we're doing some troubleshooting. Oh, actually, I didn't do, I got distracted. I didn't check the power. <laughs> so let's see with three RTGs how it's going. Uh, let me select. <laughs> okay, let's go with Astronium. And let's grab. Let's say three, All right? So I think this is the maximum or not. We gotta try, we gotta try this. We got three astronomy. Uh, okay, let's do this. Sphalerite. Let's get a little bit more. Eight. So we have time to check. Okay. So let's see if it goes any faster. Yep. It is faster. And still it's not max speed. I guess we because I'm not sure how many other arms are working at the same time. Oh, <laughs> not here. So now let's try to add one more RTG and let's see if that changes anything. But three, six, eight, great. Uh, I would love. Okay, let's go simple. Some raisin, maybe just four, please. Okay, resin wasn't selected. Is it two? Well, let's see if the problem was up here. Okay, then where do you go? Oh, 
Okay, it's going there and then oh all the way. Hmm. Interesting. So let's try to switch it on manually. Just some troubleshooting. Oops. How many did we say? Was it four? Yeah. And also, yeah, it does run faster. I think I need to add quite a few other arms. Oh, it's not stopping. It's not stopping. So the problem must be in this line. So this looks attached correct. I think maybe not okay you must have gotten tons of risk <laughs> look at that so. oops let's make some room hello Christian welcome we're just doing some troubleshooting so let's see if now when I'm selecting rays everything is all right I was thinking this guy goes up there and then it goes all the way down there isn't it too much a bit too far off okay let's try let's select Raising, oh, it didn't switch off, of course. Let's go and see if the gate got selected. No, okay, so there's a problem with here at the beginning. So, this guy, let's see where it goes. So I keep the right button pressed, and it goes directly there. And this guy goes there, then one to the light, which is good, and one. Why is it down there? Did I move another pin? Hmm. I think this could be too far off, so let's just rewire it. Was it this one? Nope. That one. Wait a second. I think I got the wrong one. So, uh, okay. Compound. Oh, I had detached compound. Sorry. I didn't mean it. All right, this is resin. Yep. Okay. Let me just bring this closer. Okay. Okay, it's this one. Let's make sure we're doing the right. And let's put it there. Oops, not actually there. Here. All right. Okay. Now let's go and see if that works. We switch this off manually. Okay. Let's go. Okay, now it's working. So that was the problem. I had pulled the wire for too long. Okay. And now let's see if everything else is fine. So I want three, please. And one. This is counting two and three. Oh, okay. This is keeping on dispensing. So this means there must be a problem here. So power lost. It's there. There. 
this looks fine then it goes up there to the light did the light switch off nope hmm. I think the problem is the cable Let's see. the connections don't seem too long here they seem all right is the problem this is again lost okay I'm really not sure about this guy even though it turned on correctly let me try to place it I don't know maybe here <laughs> let's try this Hello, the tuna. Her only is Mary, my daughter. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> I'm already married. <laughs> okay. So now, what are we gonna do? We're having some troubles with this connection. So let's check there. It goes there and it seems all right. Then we have this connect there. Back there to the light and it goes down there, here and there. So that looks correct. To oh! Oh, what do we have here? We have a couple of missing connections. <laughs> Look at that. So we have raisin was not connected to the power sensor and also play, not sure. But you. It's not possible that they were not connected, both of them. So I guess there was a little bug. I think so. Maybe if we plug them to the ground, is it gonna be any better? I don't know, but let's try. Let's try to select resin again. Okay, that turns on. And three of them, please. Okay, so there's still some problem. Uh, this one was not switched on. Let's try to do it manually and see if that works. Now, one, two, this is counting. Three. And yeah, it switched off. Okay, so now the off part works. Great. Um, I just don't know what this was which maybe it was there from before and the light turn off which is good so let's see let's try one more time just a couple of them just to see if it works yep okay two and that's it and the switch off and these items are brought to the mirror good okay so we fixed that also clay got detached so let's try to get four pieces of clay please because I need to do some clay class one two it's working all right hey JJ welcome back <laughs> the lucky lady I'm lucky <laughs> I'm lucky I used your video for help on my hydrazine farm. Oh, I'm glad about that. Oh, you know what we should do? We should save this thing. <laughs> Where is my chair? There we go. This is my throne. <laughs> this is my quick save chair. Okay, so 
I'm not really going anywhere with this vehicle. <laughs> They're just there to save the game. All right. Uh, how did you discover Astroneer? I'm not sure where I saw it first, but I was looking something like Minecraft, but like relaxed. You know, you can build your stuff without things that crave at your back and explode and stuff. <laughs> so that's how I discover Astroneer. Probably on Google or stuff, okay. Um, okay, I think. We should add more RPGs, so let's do the easy way. <laughs> let's grab this guy and let's put all RPGs in one place so we simplify this stuff. Because there are many RPGs working apparently at the same time. So. Mm, okay, is it gonna fit? Kind of. Maybe we can just do like so. No, I think this auto arm is going to deposit stuff here, so that's not good. Maybe we can just use some some extenders. Try to grab some extenders. Where are they? Oh, I think you print them with the medium print, right? <coughs> uh, extenders, here they are. Thank you very much. And this is one of my favorite tricks in Astroneer. If I can grab them, oh, why did you get there? <laughs> All right. This is one of the things that I don't like in Astroneer, when you grab a battery that it touch. Anyway, okay, so this is one of my favorite things. You put them here, then you drag this, just press C, and there we go. This is cool. One more C, I think this should be enough. And you know what? This doesn't look good there, so we just have it. And I'm a bit paranoid, but they must be all facing the same side. <laughs> oh man, I know I'm paranoid. Oh, and apparently we're out of space. One thing I've noticed with this setup, they for some reason can't reach up here, which I thought if they can reach the storage, they can deposit anywhere, but apparently it's not like that. So. I'll have to probably either try to get closer with the platform or with the auto arm or just change that storage because actually I've made some pretty thick walls <laughs> look at that so thick that I had to dig a hole into the wall to actually make it reach uh, yeah you know reach <laughs> the platform the throne of the exoship video, exactly. <laughs> That's it. Do you want to play another game on your channel? Do you want to just play Astroneer? Uh, for now, I'm thinking of Astroneer only, but I'm looking at some other things. So who knows? Uh, I also like see the skyline, I think it's called. And I was looking into another game. Uh, what's its name again? Uh, scrap Mechanic. Looks cool, I'm not sure, so we'll see. Whoops, this is a mess. I should better get rid of these guys first. Originally, I had intended to build this circuit here to the left because I wanted to have room, but it was just too far, too far off. So I'm just trying to clean up this mess because we don't really need it anymore I'm just selecting them and pressing delete 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 you all go away okay so we can clean up a little bit oh listen to the wind scrap mechanic is good oh that's cool I think it looks 
kind of like a washroom, maybe a little bit more complicated for what I've seen. But I think I like it. I'm not sure if you need some kind of specific knowledge in like real life mechanics, but I think it looks cool. Uh, so let's just try to think how we could connect this guy, even though I don't like these sounds actually. Shall we try to look for a better sound so we can print or we, we can get a, an ingredient plinth? And let's just see how these guys sound like. I just need to get all of this out. Please stay here. The tuna agrees. It's cool. So, how does raisin sound like? Oh, like a synth. I kind of like this, so raising is a possibility to me. Then we have organic. I like the sound, but maybe. I hope I not ended up liking all of them. <laughs> Let's try play. Uh, this is too long of a sound to me. I want something short. Course. Let's try course. No, definitely not this one. Whoops. Oh, you like Astroneer because you like space. Oh, that's good to know. Where did the. Okay, course. I wasn't too much into space, but not long ago I watched a movie about. Armstrong going to the moon and it was kind of cool. Is this like a harpsichord or something? I kind of like it, but it's not what I'm looking for right now. Didn't we try ammonium? Oh, that was coarse. Okay, let's try ammonium. Oh, this is very short, but. very loud yeah this must be good lithium is rare you must be cool mm. not what I'm looking <laughs> there are so many things here because we're in space maybe there's space music oops really oops oh no not that Christian, play No Man's Sky. No, I like that. Um, no Man's Sky, I don't know, it looks... You know, I like Astroneer because it's not trying to be realistic. I mean, look at me. <laughs> you can tell I'm not a realistic man. Look at those trees. You can tell they're not realistic trees. Look at those clouds. But games that try to be realistic uh, I don't know, it's it's not different. Astroneer is different, that's why I like it. I kind of like... Uh, sorry, I have a notification here. Okay. I uh, kind of like... Well, No Man's Sky should be more or less... The idea, the concept should be like Astroneer. But I seem to like Astroneer the more. For some reason. Oh, what's that? Well, you know, this would be like when the items are ready to hear this sound. I like this. Let's try to raise the pitch a little bit. The more items you put, the higher the pitch. Okay, actually, I like it low. Let's try with a couple items less, maybe just two. I like the lowest section. Okay, I think this is a great sound for when the items are ready. That's a great sound. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hating this MIDI piano here. <laughs> yeah, when items are ready, 
That's a great sound. Okay, we found at least one sound. I'm not sure if I want to use this sound for both when I'm select. Well, maybe I don't need a sound for when I'm selecting items. Actually, I just wanted a sound for when I'm selecting an item. Uh, but we still get the green animation here. And, well, you do get a small sound, but not really a cool sound. So maybe I don't need a sound for when the items are selected. Loading screen, sorry. I got a notification that said streaming could have some problem. Uh, but I do want a sound for when items are ready. This is super cool. I was planning to put it here because basically this is gonna activate that sound. All of these segment pins coming from the power lost. So basically when the power is lost because the items were counted already, we're gonna activate this guy. Oops. Oh. <laughs> okay, definitely better with the item key. Um, but I guess if I'm at the other side, I wouldn't really hear it. So I wanted to place it next to where I'm actually selecting items next to the billboard. So. If I'm only gonna use one sound, <coughs> sorry, um, I could use like this guy, place this here, get rid of that, and we can just put it there, like really close to the selection area, so I should be able to hear this wonderful sound. Now I just need to pin, branch out all these pins and connect it there. So, I need one of these. Maybe because there are so many, we need, we might need, oh, I think here it is. I think this is what I was trying to do. <laughs> it's this platform. So we can just branch everything to this platform yeah it can reach let's see from the other side no so we're gonna need to do this that's fine okay so let's branch all of these out so when power is off meaning all the items were counted it means that we can pick up our items and of course when we hear the sound it means that the last items was dropped here so then we have you know a few seconds to wait that the items actually get to the other side but that's fine um, or actually I got an idea we could use some some delay to actually know when it's really finished Okay, start to branch these guys out. You know what? Wait a second. Yep, no, I cannot use this because this is used to open and close. I need to get a sound. Oh, wait, maybe I can get the sound when I open it too. No, I don't want the same one sound. <laughs> if I'm gonna put two sounds, they must be two different sounds. Uh, okay, that's connected, that's connected. That's not. So let me get it and put it here. Cool. All right. So we could actually put a delay. So we get the sound not when the resource is here, but hopefully when the resource is out. So I would say, okay, let me just go into the menu. I would say that we can get a delay repeater. Hopefully one set to its maximum should be enough. 
and then we need to connect it to that canister to produce the same actually we need to connect it i think to this yeah okay okay so we should try oh did you go to a different planet with the helicopter seriously that's cool i didn't think that was possible in a helicopter so let's try with some wolframite uh let's just grab two so in real life i would be standing here i can hear the dorms okay so that was way too quick i haven't gotten any items yet <laughs> okay so actually the delay must be way way longer than that so can i move this safely yep good so i'm gonna need <laughs> quite some delay here uh, actually i don't need this because we can have a delay directly let me just align them because i'm a mania 25 ticks get out of my way whoops 25 ticks and 24 more let's see if that's enough I think we might need one more let's see so let me get to Malachi okay and let's see <laughs> is it a feature <laughs> Do you mean that it sounds before I get them uh, let's see I don't know I think it's gonna oh one <gasps> yeah almost perfect so maybe if we are if we had like 10 ticks of delay it's gonna be perfect so let's make one more of this okay mm, you know what It's alright if I get the sound a little bit later on, but you cannot get the sound before you get the items, can you? Okay. Alright, let's try this aluminum laterite. Uh yeah, just two again, please. I'm on the chip. You're going to the solo but you blew up. Yep, and actually I never found my helicopter again. Cool, but <laughs> I got one malachite in place of one laterite. <laughs> what? Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. Why did I get a malachite? Let's try again. <clears throat> uh, okay so the sound was i think good right i got distracted because i received a malachite uh, so let's try this let's try to get 10 of those and let's see what's going on here oh why oh it didn't switch this off so there was a problem with that the switching off of that item which was is it the malachite or wolfram no it was malachite uh, okay so this is off Oh, maybe yes, it's just that I didn't stop. Anyway, Malachite, what's wrong with you? Oh, why are you on? You should be off. So, was that the problem? Let's 
try again. Let's try again. Oh, man, we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We actually got ten ladder, right? No, that was included in those that we got this. So let's try again. Uh, ladder ride. Let's see if we have fixed that ladder ride. Okay, let's just go for two. My Twitch is Kuya Game. <laughs> Something like that. You can find me on Kuya Game. Uh, if you look for Kuya Game, I think you can find me. Yeah, this is perfect. Like one second or so, or two after I got the last piece, I hear that beautiful sound. Man, I love this sound. I really love it. That was Firelight. Sfa. Sphalerite. Okay, did I say that correctly? Uh, hopefully, this one time. Hmm. That was sweet. I love that sound. And this means one thing. I need to save the game. Ah, save the game. <laughs> That's cool. Even I should try to do something better for my lamps. Doesn't look too good, does it? The boost mode would make your rover faster. <laughs> Maybe. Okay guys, so this was and is my new vendor machine. What do you think about it? Um, I know it's a mess, but it's really much simpler than the old version because we got rid of all the section that, that was here. We got rid of the binary counter which I've made, but it was not useful at all. So I got rid of it. So as you can see now, we can simply select the number that we want. We don't need a binary number to do that. Uh, I like it because it's everything is very modular. So each section is very modular. So it doesn't take uh, power for real, most of it only for these auto arms. And you know, I should try one day to really attach it to <laughs> noise. <laughs> I think it's cool, thank you. I think I should try one day to to merge it with the, uh, how's that called? With the sorter, auto sorter system so that it sorts either automatically. And then you come here and you tell, uh, I want two of that, I want two of that like you do grocery i want two resin please and five astronium for some reason <laughs> why would i need astronium no you're not going to fail um so this was not really a tutorial but you can tell it's not going to be easy to explain this tutorial i think maybe i could try to explain each module what they do, right? Like I tried to do today. Um, so there's a lot of wiring, but actually it's really repetitive. So you do the same thing a lot of times. A uh, lot, lot, lot of wiring. I'm happy because we could test some of these. Hello, Neon Genesis. Um, I'm happy we could try some of these guys so we could see if there was there were some problems with some, we fixed them, some of the pins were not attached correctly. So you know what, what is this up? Oh, the articles, yeah. I think those should go maybe a little bit further off. Maybe I should attach them somewhere else. Like maybe here, so that I don't hear the noise. Because the only noise or sound I wanna hear is these items delivered. So, you know what? It's been two hours, guys. It's been two nice hours. So I think we're going to close soon, but we don't want to miss the opportunity to get some. Is there any item that we didn't request for? Course, what? Course is not even attached. 
What's going on here? Let's fix that now. There we go. So I guess we should get course. And hopefully it's not messed up. Let's see. Queer game, should everyone like and sub to you? <laughs> I hope so. It's up to you guys. Well done. Thank you, Christian. So let's try this uh, course. And you know what? Let's try nine. I don't think we ever requested for nine. And okay, I know we all want to watch what's going on here. I really love to see the way it comes. I mean, it's so cool. Okay, we're getting our nine pieces of course. Only course is working. Good. Nine pieces. Let's go back. I want to hear that sound. I want to be here with that thing plays. I want to hear it in my brain. Super loud. Oh, let that off. Maybe we should delay that light too. Hmm. That's for the next time. <laughs> perfect that was perfect <laughs> i love that i love that guy so i think this sound really is the icing on the cake and let me try to mess up yeah that was cool so this is my latest vending machine <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed it and it should be simpler yeah i think it's simpler and we just did some well actually it is simpler because anything we did today like the lightings it was already in the old project as well so this is simpler let's clean this up okay fortunately the resources that were in didn't explode everywhere like this one Okay, whoops, I'm mean just misclicking as always. And I think it's time for us to close, guys. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy and we did this project together. And it looks very cool. And more especially, we have learned that. Uh, Valerite makes a wonderful sound, even though I cannot pronounce it yet. <laughs> oh, look at that. We have a nice view here. So guys, thank you so much. And are you part of Team C's? I don't know who they are, unfortunately. <laughs> but I thank you so much, guys, for tuning in today. I think to conclude, we may want to go overnight because at least here in Italy it's night now it's almost 11 in the night and we want to fire a firework with that the solo at the back let's look oh this is a nice view I think this would be a nice conclusion Maybe let's get the drone away and I think guys it's time to say hello so I really have enjoyed thank you so much for tuning in and if you wish subscribe I'm publishing Astronaut content contents weekly <laughs> I'm trying to speak English and it's been fun thank you so much guys ready to fire that rocket stay safe